Hi friends, welcome to Aisha's DIY. Today we will design a bracelet project with these beads. So these are the flower beads that I made a necklace with. Uh, it's from Sam's Bead Box. I picked out three of the flowers. They still have five flowers. So for this project, I picked out three. And then this uh, flower bead also we received in the same box, Sam's Bead Box subscription for this month. I'm going to use that as well. And these roundels are from or from Sam Speedbox but from previous months and also does this uh, silver color uh, glass 6 millimeter rounds and these were also from Sam Speedbox from the previous box I picked out this blue this pink is from this month's box and I have some check glass 4 millimeter drug beads and um, the and then uh, this is from Sam's as well I bought this and these are six millimeter drug beads in this crystal color so I have a two millimeter leather it's I think two millimeter uh, 1.5 millimeter leather okay this is a navy blue color that's what I think yeah navy blue 1.5 millimeter leather it's from fire mountain and gems and I also have the Ceylon amethyst from bobbles and beads.com I bought this so I'm going to use all of this plus this seed beads size 11 seed beads it has that purple with the blue lining I don't know if the camera is picking it up properly but these two color combination is there in the seed beads so that's why I picked that up so let's just design this so I picked out all of these colors hoping that this will make sense for us but if you want to change the colors we can so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut two feet of my leather right so two feet of my leather should be good enough for me to finish the product uh, the project I think let me just measure two feet so that's just one feet and then two maybe two feet is a little bit more but I just don't want it to be less we can't add uh, leather uh, later so I measured it maybe I could have measured with the tying station I'm using the tying station to do my project we don't have to necessarily use the this one but um, it's helpful this is beetle on tying station so here we go we have our two ends together right and then we need a button which I completely forgot about so that's something I'm going to use this button from my stash and then I'm going to take my leather and put it through one end one hole and through the other hole the other end bring it about to the center here we can start from here or we can end from here it's totally up to us so what I'm going to do is um, um actually what we can do is we can end from this side as well so it doesn't matter yeah actually we can start from this side so i'm just a little bit confused out there okay now this is in the middle now i will just go ahead and tie an overhand knot with the both of the leather together right there we go just like so so before I bring this knot closer and tighter against each other, I need to cut my seal on. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say take 30 inches of seal on. I'm going to measure it in the measurement of the tying station. Just one, two, and three thirty inches is the short length okay I'm gonna cut it then I'm gonna measure two of that sixty okay pick that up go through that so one measure and there we go so that's also done we are done cutting all of those 
and I want you guys to take the thinner version of the seal uh, seal on that we cut seal on or eslon whichever you want to use you can use so I'm just going to take the smaller 30 inch seal on and I'm going to separate these two cords and put this through this I'm gonna bring the seal on in between these two cords and I'm gonna try and make it part and parcel of this knot as well right just leave it there and now you just go ahead and tighten your knot right there you will see this here and then you can push and pull there so what I'm gonna do here is take this seal on cord go through this um, leather what you can do is take some wire this is probably 26 gauge wire and fold it into half put the seal on through the middle it's a technique that you can use instead of needle you can also put your needle through that's also an option but this is easy for me so I just go through this leather I'm just trying to poke in between these leather that's what I'm trying to do let me see if I can succeed in that So this much security seems to be a little bit um, um, not convincing for me. So I just I'm looking for more ways to secure that seal on cord for us. We can just put GSI for cement and then call it a day. But I just feel like a little bit more security um, can help. There we go so I did that and now what I'm going to do is take this other end okay. put it through this and tighten it okay then there is a knot right here so now you can tighten this knot as you wish if you want you can tighten this knot or you can put a glue or something like that we can take care of that later so now it's secure now I can do my macrame with it without any problems so what I'm going to do here is take a piece of macrame cord just like so right take these two ends these are scrap cords that I have away I have with me whenever I'm finished with the project if I have a little bit of a scrap cord I always save that take these two cords and put it through this is just an overhand knot so that you have a big loop now you put that big loop here you can attach this to your table or your macrame board and start macrame that's an option what I would like to do is I would like to take the tying station so the tying station has two sides right this side is stable and this one is can move front and back so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this loop open this nut wing nut
so these acrylic plates are plates are for safety um, take these two off okay put this through this and keep your acrylic plate and the wing nut and then tighten your screw there we go that is attached now we can just take these two ends and secure it to the other end by opening these and sliding this in between the two plates right and then tightening it up now we have everything secure here we can start our macrame with the bigger cord so the 60 inch cord that we have here we can start using that take that and fold it into half there we go fold these into half bring it underneath this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start macrame okay you can just start your Q and P this I am doing a basic square knot if you are not familiar with the basic square knot you can go ahead and watch in my chain watch for my channel basic knots of macrame uh, and then come back to this video because that will be much more easier so I'm just uh, making sure everything is almost both the sides the same that's a Q and if you keep it like this and top and underneath this that's a P so Q's and P's right so this is a Q and this is a P you do couple of knots and then we can start using our beads for the knots So you can also use don't you don't have to use the beads for the knots you can just simply use the thread and just use a central focal but I'm going to use some beads in the center cord and the side cord as well. So I'm just going to count the number of stitches that I'm going to put one two and three. I have three square knots which consist of three P's and three Q's right. So that's a four three and a half this is a four and five four and a half and five and we can start adding beads so I have made five square knots now I'm going to add the smallest bead in my lot which is going to be the 4 millimeter check glass bead in the lilac color. I add it to both sides. So this will fray a bit so you can what you can do here is you can actually put some glue and then harden this part. and then stiffen it will stiffen you can put some uh, GSI cement or zap glue whichever you want and then harden the end and then put it but it was easy to put this on so now I'm going to do the the P now go on top this go on top and under just make sure that these cords are 
Um, straight and parallel, right? So see how this comes. Now we shall do the next one. So whenever I do the consecutive knot, I just go ahead and tighten this first. See this? Sometimes it gets loosened up. I just go a little bit like that, tighten that up, and then immediately tighten this down. So we have secured that. Now take the right hand cord and then you can start with the bigger bead if you want. I'm going to start with this um, 6 millimeter round bead. Right? And then I'm going to do my P. and then my Q. So as I said, go ahead and tighten the first knot and then immediately go ahead and tighten the second knot as well. Everything in place and you can do one more if you want. Just want that to be really secure and right next to each other, right? See, this has two sides, so it will turn. So that's that. And then we can start using this on either side. Or, um, yeah. Or we can use one more of the small one then do the bigger one the four millimeter take the other end and add the next bead this came out just make sure when you add it you make it drop down so there we go. That's our cue. Making sure it sits on the side. And then our P. Okay, now I'm ready to add the 6 millimeter or 8 millimeter, whichever you have. You can use any sort of beads for this type of bracelet. You don't have to use the beads that I'm using, but you can use any beads you want. Okay, now I start my queue. I go ahead and tighten the first knot and then right, tighten up the first knot and then tighten the second knot making sure they are okay. Now what I do is just loosen up the bottom part and take the center cord out of my bracelet again I'm gonna bring these two cords and tighten it in the bottom So the center C-Lon or S-Lon cord, take it 
and I'm going to add this um, flower bead. I'm going to come from the bottom and then I'm going to add a small bead which I'm thinking um, some uh, blue color will do. Oh no, yeah. This one right here. Lavino seed beads. The Lavino seed bead. It's very hard to put it inside. Don't know if I can get it through or else I will look for an Eto seed bead in a similar or contrasting color. So I found an eight or seed bead for myself, the same color, and then I added that. And then I'm gonna take this Ceylon down through the same hole after the seed bead. The seed bead is going to block it from coming through. I really need to stiffen this end, otherwise this is not going to go through that, I think. Yep. I will stiffen this end and then take a lick Ziploc baggie and take your GSI for cement or whichever jewelry glue you have and then run it on top of the Ceylon. Put these down here and then run it on top of the Ceylon. then um, let it dry for some time and then it should be ready if there is excess then you can just take it out the back you can use zap glue it will be much more faster I don't have zap glue but I have heard good things about it. it's pretty fast you can also coat yours with this like that and let that dry for some time and then it should be ready for us so i actually did this after that i did one more bead and then some seed beads with this um, flower but i don't know if, if i have to use this side or this side which will look really nice i'm just did it but if you want you guys can switch over to this <coughs> So uh, I'll tell you guys exactly how I was able to get through those two. Uh, first of all, let's start with the roundel bead. You can just continue doing with the flowers itself. I still have five more flowers, but I want to use two of the flowers for a earring. So that's why. So the bump is on the right. That means you have to make the loop on that side. So I'm doing a P, okay, and then tighten that up. Then I'm going to do a Q, so as I told you guys, I will just straighten this up a little bit tighten this up a little bit and then slowly tighten the other one up but still there will be some some slack which we can cut it by doing it tight now i'm ready to add the flower the big flower in so i take the center cord of of my spool here take that add this flower this flower doesn't have a big enough hole so I thought I can pass through the S lawn by just stiffening it up but it didn't work so what I did was I put an 8 o seed bead you can also put a 11 o seed bead if you want but 8 o seed bead works fine okay take a big eye needle that's what I did this is a very big big eye needle but that's what I have in hand and put it inside 
and then what you do is you just um, leave the eight of seed beads and pass through the flower one more time just like so it is not coming so what I did was I used my pliers to gently tug it and pull and figure out there we go then you can take the picking needle off okay now bring this down so there is a lag so just bring the flower all the way down if you have a bead all or something or a toothpick or anything if you have just put it in there and then tighten that up that way it will sit right on top and still there is a lag so there we go as much as we can okay just push everything up there and then secure your center eslon cord around the bottom of your tying station and then now i'm ready to do one more knot i'm going to do a q or a p first because the bump is on the right side so i'm doing it underneath the flower right here okay and then a q my bead all rolled down there we go so that's secure now and after that I did this blue bead which I'm gonna do again so add a blue bead on your left cord and on your right cord and then we'll continue So now you do your macrame again just like so and then like this so when you do this you straighten the first knot first and then tighten that up so this is how it looks so there's four beads and on top the flower bead comes and I would like to do one more knot in case um, just in case because um, I feel it that way I'm just going to do one more knot here that's that is half a knot so now I'm ready to add this bead so that bead goes in the center of our uh, project so here we go as I said there is two sides to it so I would like to use this side and then keep it right on top and secure this to your bottom station I like to rotate it around so that it's nice and secure and then what I will do is I'll just place this bead on top this has a hole see it has just moved a little bit which I didn't want it to You can also take your pliers and move this cord to the center because there we go. That's where we want it to sit. Now I will add six seed beads on either of the cord, both the cord not either both the cord and then I will do the knot around this flower bead so I'm using 8 or seed beads I tried the 11 or seed beads it didn't work so I'm using 8 or seed beads right here so these are not branded ones so they won't be um, I'm cutting it at an angle they won't be of the same same shape 
to. Five. Okay, this won't work. Five and six. So since these are not of the same okay, I did it in the wrong epsilon chord. Okay. Since it's not a uniform size the six seed beads is an approximation it's not um, the definite size if you feel that it doesn't cover the flower bead enough then you can add seven or more beads as long as it takes to cover the uh, flower that's four that's five and that's six so if you keep it around just like the, that it should cover the flower beads so the six is good enough for me I will add six more beads on this side and continue my macrame so this macrame is very versatile you can use any beads you want as long as it's it fits through the S lon or C lon chord that you have or if you are not using the C lon or S lon you can also use Chinese macrame nodding chord for this purpose and I would suggest 0.4 millimeter or 0.5 millimeter as it has a smaller hole for you guys to you know put a uh, check glass beads check glass beads generally don't have that big a hole um, so as to pass through the S lawn twice or even once comfortably so it's better to have um, 0.4 millimeter cord that way it will be easy so just tighten that up and then this and now you have the bead set now I will continue doing as you can see this one is a little bit on the side that's because the cord moved and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, the roundel and then I'll do one more knot just a half a knot then I will do the roundel the flower then the speed and then I will continue doing the knots with just the bead so let's just do the roundel now it's a fun bracelet if you have some flowers or or beads which has center holes these are the ones that you need for the center cord it will fit perfectly or you can use beads like this the smaller flowers that I have used here has a top to bottom drilled hole it doesn't have a center hole so it just basically depends upon you how you want the bracelet to be like and you can see both the difference the difference between the center hole bead and a side hole bead in the same uh, bracelet as to this flower and this flower so you can decide for yourself according to your bead stash whichever you want to now that's secure now I will add again the center flower So take the center flower, add it to the center cord and then a uh, 8 of seed bead. You can also substitute this 8 of seed bead with a pie cone or a roundel or whichever you want. And then you come back, sorry, gets stuck there. You come back through the flower just like so use your pliers to pull this in gently as I said it's a little bit tough but we can uh oh just broke my big eye needle 
Oke. Okay. Now let me see if it even worked for all that matter. Okay. There we go. That's the last flower. I didn't use this color at all, but that's okay. That's not needed for our bracelet. So we need to hold this small bead in the hand and pull the flower down and pull just like so. Then we will take our bead all. to actually lessen the gap further more and then I will do my knots if you have a toothpick or a strong needle like a knitting needle or something or even a, a crochet needle in stainless steel that would all work here we are just getting rid of that dead space right there there we go now just going to see where the pump is secure the center cord again to the bottom of my tying station I just rotate it around this and then I start my knot that's a P then a Q Now I'm ready to add the blue bead. So I finished making this bracelet. So I continued with um, the pattern that we started with. That is the truck beads, the six millimeter in the truck. The same I did it here as you guys can see. And then this is all my thread which is left. And I did six uh, to seven square knots at the end. And this is my uh, remaining leather. So what I'm going to do is take all these um, cords. So this center cord is right here. Okay. I'm going to tie these center cord. I'm going to change, um, turn it upside down. The center cord is right here. I'm going to tie the center cord and one of the side cords together, just like so, like into an overhand knot and one more okay that's that and then also tie it with the side cord other side cord as well so separately two knots regular overhand knot Now you bring all these cords together and I know the knots are on the side just make it to the back and take all the thread the three s lawn or c lawn plus the leather and then make an overhand knot so I'm gonna do it again this time carefully so the seal on cord has a different texture than the other one. So first I'm going to take all of those and insert it to the, through the loop that we have. And then the two leather cords. Right. 
then bring everything together just like so make sure all the cords are nicely pulled there is no slag in that and then slowly steadily tighten that knot okay and pull these cord individually tight and tight so that's one knot and then now check so here is my cord here is my bracelet and then if I come back like this and that should be perfect size so now what I do is I take all these cords the Eslon cord we have quite a bit left right so make sure give it one more tug just like so individually so that it doesn't get you know the leather toe everything tight and then what I'm going to do here is take all the cords and I'm going to put a dab of glue over this knot so that it doesn't come off both the leather and the eslon right so I just put a generous amount of glue right there okay turn it around and do it all the way here and here and here and let this dry I would say about 24 to 48 hours and then you can snip off the excess cord but for the time being for the video purposes I'm just snipping it off a little bit longer and I would want see the two cords that I used didn't have much but the center cord has a little bit so we can do it a little bit less so take these cords and just make an overhand knot just like so for our loop for the button so just make sure before you tighten that knot up check whether your button goes through that or not right So it's a little bit tight fit so I need to move the knot a little bit more and now I check one more time and now my button is freely going through so that's the knot I'm going to go with go ahead with and then go ahead and tighten this knot really nicely and check whether your button goes through the knot or not the cap yes it does it's done we can snip this off by putting a dab of